Hi, this is David, and thanks for checking out this video. Uh, with this video, I was going to show you how to selectively color a, an area in an image uh, where everything else is black and white. Um, this has been become real popular over the past, you know, five to ten years because of digital. It just makes it really easy to do this. And uh, so what we've done is we basically start with this baby and um, want the hat colored. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that right now and show you how we do this. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and come to my main layer. I'm going to duplicate that by doing a command J. I always do that just out of habit. And what I want to do is select the hat uh, because we want the hat in color and everything else to be in black and white. So I'm going to come up to the quick selection tool up here, click on that, and then basically just start dragging across the hat because we want the hat to be in color. And what happens though is when we're looking at this image, we typically, the quick selection tool does a pretty good job, but it sometimes uh, misses some areas. So to fix this, right now that little circle has a plus sign in it. So what I want to do is change that to a minus sign so we can deselect some areas. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the option key down, which push, makes it with a little minus sign, and just come on up here and just kind of hit the areas that it sort of over selected. And then here we actually want to get that, so I'm going to bring that back with a plus sign and select that. And you can spend as much time at this as you want, because obviously it's not going to get all the areas, but it does a pretty good job right off the bat. Uh, now what we'll do is we're going to go to Refine Edge, which is right up here. And we're going to soft smooth that out a little bit just by hitting smooth, and we're going to feather it a little bit too. And this will change depending on how much resolution your image is and things like that. So there's, there's not a definite number system that will work for every image, um, just because every image is going to be different resolution-wise. And then click OK. So what we've done is we've basically selected the hat. And at this point, if we sort of desaturate what we've done, we're going to desaturate the hat. So we want to actually desaturate everything else. So what we want to do is inverse this. So we're going to come up to the to the select tool, or the select at the top of the, the, the screen, and we're going to come down to inverse. And what that does is that switches, uh, basically deselects the hat and selects everything else. It sort of does the opposite. And then what we can do at this point is come down to the little yin yang sign at the bottom of the layers palette. That's your adjustment layers. We're going to click on that and we're going to go to hue saturation. And all we have to do at this point is just go to saturation and just dial that all the way back. And what that does is just basically turned it into a real quick black and white. Uh, now at this point, we, we have it on a mask, the adjustment layer. So what we can do is we can actually come in here and look at some of the areas to see if there's any any uh, problems with it. So right here we're seeing a little skin tone coming through. So what I can do is uh, basically paint in and sort of fix that. So since we're on a mask, we can paint in black and white, which will either reveal or hide some of the areas. Uh, go to our paintbrush which is here, or we can hit the B. And basically at this point what you can do is, is paint in over the, over which area, whichever area you want. So if we want to turn more into black and white, all we do is paint in white over the mask. And if we want to paint in and in, uh, basically get rid of some of the little fringe skin tones, we can paint in in black. So we're going to go ahead and swap the colors. Uh, we're going to hit the X key to toggle, and we're going to sort of toggle back and forth and just kind of hide some of the areas where the skin tone kind of comes through a little bit. So we're going to actually paint it in white over the skin. And there's a couple little areas here where I don't know if it's, it's visible on your screen or not. Uh, but we'll go ahead and come down here and take a look at what we got. And here we're missing, this is black and white in here, which is actually part of the hat. So I'm going to swap it to, to black to paint in over that and just bring that color back, which it's in shadow, so you're really not going to see a lot of that. But I'll just go ahead and do that and just come on all the way down. So that's a real quick and easy tutorial on how to swap the colors and, and paint on masks. And at this point, if you want, what you can do is you can come in here and add some contrast to this area. So you can do go back to the yin yang symbol again, uh, which is the adjustment layers, click on that, and just go to levels. And then we can darken this up a little bit and add a little more contrast. 
which I'm kind of liking that right there. So just something real sip and simple and easy. And if we take it too far, you can always, if you feel like the box is getting too dark, you can paint in on the mask and lighten that up. Or you can actually grab the opacity and dial that down a little bit too. So if you've taken it too far, you can just do that. So I kind of like it a little more contrasty like it was. So I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so hopefully this video has helped you out a little bit and just a real quick and easy tutorial on how to do a selective color and uh, with a black and white. Uh, thanks for watching and if you like the video, please subscribe.